Welcome to Falcon TV. Subscribe to the channel to stay informed and inspire us. Chandrayaan-3 Mission Soft Landing It is historic lunar landing that India achieved on August 23, 2023. It was the first time that any country successfully performed a controlled, soft landing, near the South Pole of the Moon, which is a region of scientific interest and exploration potential. Chandrayaan-3 was the third moon mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, following Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-3 consisted of a lander module and a rover module, which separated from the orbiter module and descended to the lunar surface using an automatic landing sequence, ALS. The lander module touched down at 6.03 p.m. IST, a minute before the scheduled time, and deployed the rover module shortly after. The rover module, named Pragyan, meaning, wisdom, in Sanskrit, began to explore the lunar terrain and collect data using its cameras and instruments. The lander module, named Vikram, meaning, valor, in Sanskrit, also carried scientific payloads and communicated with the rover and the orbiter. The orbiter module, which remained in orbit around the moon, relayed the data from the lander and rover to Earth and performed its own observations. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was a major achievement for India and the world, as it demonstrated India's technological prowess and scientific ambition. It also opened new possibilities for lunar exploration and discovery, especially in the South Pole region, which is believed to contain water ice and other resources. The mission received widespread praise and congratulations from various countries and organizations, such as the US, China, Russia, Japan, NASA, ESA, and UNOOSA. The Chandrayaan-3 mission started on 14 July 2023, when it was launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, India, on board a launch vehicle Mark III, LVM-3, rocket. The mission was designed to demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, to deploy a rover to explore the lunar terrain and conduct scientific experiments, and to study the lunar South Pole region, which is believed to contain water ice and other resources. The mission used various technologies such as a propulsion module, a lander module, a rover module, cameras, sensors, instruments, and communication systems. The propulsion module carried the lander and rover configuration to lunar orbit in preparation for a powered descent by the lander. The lander module, named Vikram, touched down on the lunar surface near the South Pole and deployed the rover module, named Pragyan. The rover module roved on the moon and collected data using its cameras and instruments. The lander module also carried scientific payloads and communicated with the rover and the orbiter. The orbiter module, which remained in orbit around the moon, relayed the data from the lander and rover to Earth and performed its own observations. The mission was mainly an Indian project, led by ISRO. However, some countries and organizations provided support or collaboration for the mission, such as France, Japan, NASA, ESA, and UNOOSA. The cost of the mission was estimated to be around 9.7 billion rupees, about 130 million United States dollars, which is relatively low compared to other lunar missions. The Chandrayaan-3 mission soft landing was done on the 23rd of August 2023 at 1802 IST, 1232 coordinated universal time making India the first country to successfully land a spacecraft near the lunar South Pole and the fourth country to soft land on the Moon 4. The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate India's technological prowess and scientific ambition in space exploration, as well as to open new possibilities for lunar exploration and discovery, especially in the South Pole region. Chandrayaan-3 mission was the third moon mission by ISRO, following Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-1 was launched in 2008 and became the first Indian spacecraft to orbit the moon. Chandrayaan-2 was launched in 2019 and became the first Indian spacecraft to land on the moon, although it crashed due to a technical glitch. Chandrayaan-3 mission was a low-cost mission, with an estimated budget of around 9.7 billion rupees, about 130 million United States dollars, which is relatively low compared to other lunar missions. Chandrayaan-3 mission used various technologies such as a propulsion module, a lander module, a rover module, cameras, sensors, instruments, and communication systems. The propulsion module carried the lander and rover configuration to lunar orbit in preparation for a powered descent by the lander. The lander module, named Vikram, meaning, valor, in Sanskrit, touched down on the lunar surface near the South Pole and deployed the rover module, named Pragyan, 
meaning wisdom, in Sanskrit. The rover module roved on the moon and collected data using its cameras and instruments. The lander module also carried scientific payloads and communicated with the rover and the orbiter. The orbiter module relayed the data from the lander and rover to Earth and performed its own observations. Chandrayaan-3 mission achieved a historic soft landing on the lunar surface on 23 August 2023 at 1802 IST, 1232 UTC, making India the first country to successfully land a spacecraft near the lunar south pole and the fourth country to soft land on the moon after Russia, USA, and China. Chandrayaan-3 mission's landing site was located at 70.9 degrees south, 22.8 degrees east, near the crater Manzinus C. This site was chosen because it had a relatively flat terrain with few craters or boulders, as well as a high potential for water ice deposits. Chandrayaan-3 mission's landing sequence involved four phases, rough braking, attitude control, fine braking, and terminal descent. The lander used its thrusters to reduce its speed and altitude gradually until it reached a height of about 2 meters above the ground. Then it used its sensors to detect a safe landing spot and touch down softly using its shock-absorbing legs. Chandrayaan-3 mission's rover module weighed about 27 kilograms and had six wheels that could move at a speed of up to 1 centimeter per second. It had a solar panel that provided power and a battery that stored energy. It had two cameras that captured images of the lunar surface and two instruments that measured soil properties and elemental composition. Chandrayaan-3 mission's rover module had a planned lifespan of 14 Earth days, one lunar day, during which it could travel up to 500 meters from the lander. It could communicate with the lander using radio signals and send data to Earth via the orbiter. Chandrayaan-3 mission's lander module weighed about 1,471 kilograms and had four legs that supported its weight. It had four engines that provided thrust and four reaction control thrusters that provided attitude control. It had a solar panel that provided power and a battery that stored energy. It had four cameras that captured images of the landing site and three instruments that measured seismic activity, thermal properties, and plasma density. Chandrayaan-3 mission's lander module had a planned lifespan of one lunar year, about 12 Earth months, during which it could operate in day and night conditions. It could communicate with the rover and the orbiter using radio signals and send data to Earth via the orbiter. Chandrayaan-3 mission's orbiter module weighed about 2,379 kilograms and had a single engine that provided thrust. It had two solar panels that provided power and a battery that stored energy. It had eight instruments that performed various observations of the moon, such as mapping, imaging, spectroscopy, and radar. Chandrayaan-3 mission's orbiter module had a planned lifespan of at least two years, during which it could orbit the moon at an altitude of about 100 kilometers. It could communicate with the lander and the rover using radio signals and relay data to Earth using a high-gain antenna. Chandrayaan-3 mission's scientific objectives included studying the topography, mineralogy, geology, and chemistry of the lunar south pole region, detecting and quantifying water ice and other volatiles, measuring the seismic activity and thermal properties of the lunar surface, analyzing the plasma environment and solar wind interactions, and testing new technologies for future lunar missions. Chandrayaan-3 mission scientific results included finding evidence of water ice in permanently shadowed regions near the South Pole, discovering new minerals and rock types on the lunar surface, mapping the lunar crustal thickness and magnetic anomalies, detecting moonquakes and thermal anomalies, measuring the plasma density and temperature near the moon, and demonstrating the performance of various sensors and instruments. Chandrayaan-3 mission's impact included enhancing India's reputation and prestige in space exploration, inspiring young Indians to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM), fostering international cooperation and collaboration in lunar research, advancing scientific knowledge and understanding of the moon, and opening new possibilities for lunar exploration and utilization. Chandrayaan-3 mission's challenges included overcoming technical difficulties and delays in the development and launch of the mission, ensuring a precise and safe landing on a challenging terrain, coping with harsh environmental conditions such as extreme temperatures, radiation, dust, and shadows, operating multiple modules with limited power and communication resources, and analyzing large amounts of complex data from various sources. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. Thank you.